of Brendan has arrived from Ireland. Good. Give order that I'm not to keep it I'll sooner than I expected, Brendan. I said it from the work immediately on receiving your message. This is going to be preserved. Urgent is the word, Brendan. Let us hear our rescue reaching a crisis. House of Commons grows more insolent every day. I need to know on whom I can count when the cash comes. That's why I beg you find out the temper of the Irish. Now, say on you. I can answer the Irish nobilities for almost to a man. They will support you in any step you may choose to take against the power. And if the Irish people owe little to the English Parliament, that alone should ensure peace in Ireland. First satisfaction. Though I have a suspicion that's the last thing they want. Here, is it true the King's trying to dissolve Parliament? I don't think so. Here they scare of his chair, got his cabinet. I hope it's true. No Parliament, no section. Ah! There is, of course, a section, a small section, which is opposed to your Majesty. Need we reckon with them? I think we must. Their numbers may be small, but their leader is a man of energy and influence. You know him? Only too well. A neighbor of mine, Sir Richard Marat. Neighbor, is he a friend of yours? Yes. Hitherto, we've agreed to differ in politics. Oh, how much longer that may be possible, it's a mistake. Use all your influence to consider. That was my intention, sir. The moment I return. I do, sir. You may yet win him out. Now to turn to another matter. A matter which is also giving me no little cause for anxiety. It concerns my son. His son? Yes. I would value your opinion, friend. He's but weak. I think it's possible to start. Put it politely, he does not take time to study. Put it bluntly, he's an ignorant who seems to take joy in study. Perhaps he needs a little humoring in the matter of a tutor. Hard life, sir. I've changed his tutor a dozen times. I've run through the whole bench of Bishop. Who has the post now? Bishop of Canchester, of course, sir. And finally, the important changes brought about in the English Constitution in regards to the relationship of the Crown and people, especially in the matter of taxation, to be noted with the closest observation and minutest attention.
with a new mowing. What's wrong? Have you been falling into sin? Yes, sir. I'm suffering from sin of vanity. Every time I look in the mirror, I think how pretty I am. Oh, that's not a thing. That's a mistake. It's gone. That's all right. That's gone on over there. Now, your reverend is that will conceive an old farm and Jim Connor. Go 
only a few Sundays ago, I saw it on that website. Uh, huh? Uh, it's a strong. A fork in the street. I don't know if Sorry to interrupt your learning to support. But I need to take a few moments with your valuable time. Oh, well, Mr. President, the biggest job is getting into his fire. Sorry to be as far as for this, but what I have to say for the purpose is no longer to be made. Dad, that reminds me, Your Lord, I wanted to speak to you about Tim Connors. Yes, who to trust? Ah. Tell me, how long have you been to this world? Ten years now. Happy day only gave me the lesson. Well, a happier day is coming. You see, the child would wish to find a suitable suitor for the young priest. Wouldn't be honest to trust me on the point, but about education, he's letting me be free. See, you're selfish. Yes. You're nothing to say? Oh, I, I, I have to be grateful, Your Lordship. What? But what? I don't know what you're saying. What? Since his man, you wish to have been the next rabid one, he might be a white hall. The truth, Lord Jimmy. I'd hope to live and die the victor. Really? What would I be doing to one? What if I men me a thought? Well, it's something that would take me a long way. The city comes. Sure. I thought you had me marked for royal tutor, not for death. Now listen to me. You make up your mind to the white hall you're going. The king's command is not a custom to be this big. Make your farewells to your parishioners and let them be short. He's not accustomed to being this weak, nice. He's good mother and her. Man, Lord. It is. But I shall leave these poor people in a very happy time. I humbly thank you, my lord, for what was kind in me. Good day to you. Good day. Good day. Good day. You're not leaving us, Vicar. The sun's only just begun. Oh, well, what's the matter, Your Honor? Give up. Wait as long as a fiddle. The Reverend's has got promotion. If you scarce believe it to look at him. Huh? Yes, yes. That is Lord Chip says. It was only a long day, I'm thinking. So I'll see you all again. That's not Not really. Yes, the old friend thrown away. Good on, please. Across the sea. Please. But you're coming back. Oh. Ah, you promised to marry us someday. Oh, I'll be back in time for that. Oh. Here, I'll take her. This is a short way of moving. You're right, my lord. She is too.
is a sorry day for all of us. Wise old your reverence. How much do we want to pay? Eleven pence, your reverence. It's better to not ask you to sell it, sir. Legal fire. Stop. Mr. Cox. Before I take it, please stop. Welcome to France. Come to France. 
You've had a swift journey. I understand it's what three days you can see Shang Tang up in bed. Sure, sir. It's not the only thing you can see up in bed. I think you won't return to the journey. <laughs> well, come, let's sit down. It's just nice. Pleasant to turn from the fair state to more domestic topics. I've had a rather trying half hour with a deputation from the House of Council. Of course, I think sometimes a pity the late lamented Guy Fox didn't succeed in throwing them all up. It would save a good deal of trouble if we had. I shall long for the politics that will do in it. Whichever government is in power, someone is in charge. The same in Ireland, I think. Let's have to go out this job. Yes, the Lord Lieutenant, Lord Brendan, tells me the Irish. I think the same rule applies to my son. He has a good heart, but he's too fond of pay. Why, women? Martin, he's not unintelligent. Right, sir. He was burning the candle at both ends. Send for me. Yes, sir. This is his reverence is great. Our new chief, whom we've heard so much good. We'll attend upon his reverence when we've died, sir. In order that you may have an opportunity of judging her back to why you are such nice tonight. I know the worst, the earliest possible. Well, I'll give you. 
I'd be sorry to see the last of the big idea. Say nothing of your good self. I can hear it. You can catch up. Give her to table. Send to your leisure. And a good better bed. <laughs> and what could a man want more? Ah, uh, there's one thing. Every Irish man wants to go back to himself. I mean, I'll have to be gay. He's a case of the better picture. And he's a better picture. This is goodbye, old okay. friend. I wish we could have played this space at any number of Troubles over time. Anyone could have done it. It would have been your hand. I do not doubt. Now, if you will accept no advancement from us here, is there no last table? Yes, there is one. We'll have but to me. Come. Anything you want. Oh, it's nothing for myself. Only that... That in time to come... Mm -hmm. I use her... To, to rule with justice. I think it's called a fool of I handle. When the day you speak of comes, there is no place, be it great or small, that you may ask. How your will not run. Unfortunate choice. Lord Brendan would be glad to see you know, Sir Patrick. 